obviously you know him so much better than all the rest of us put together, but uh, he's a person who's always so calculated and always so organized. How, how, what has been your perspective on these last two months where he retires and then comes back? Yeah, just, just surprising to me. I mean, I haven't spoken to him or anything like that, but that word you just said, Gring, that calculated word, is it just defines him. So I, I, I don't know if this was, unex this was he, had a he had a plan and something didn't work out, okay? Because this isn't a guy that's just like, you know, let me just take this day to day and see uh, what we'll do. No, I don't feel good. I'm just going to come back. Something happened here, and that's why this is so unexpected for him, for me, to, for him to just say, you know what, I'll retire. No, I'm going to come back. I know his father's comments in terms of the media. I'm not buying it. This guy's calculating. He knew exactly what he was doing, but something didn't work out. Yeah, that was Tom Brady Sr. was on my radio show yesterday. Was, uh, you have a, a fun theory. I, I, I don't know if this is the reality or not, but it's, it's worth hearing just because it's fun. No, no, simply, I, I, listen, I've been there. We've all been there. Teddy's been there. The reason we retired is because of injuries, because we couldn't play anymore. Hey, I can imagine how mm. hard it is for Tom Brady to just go from being a superhero with the cleft chin, the Superman chin, the little dimple right there, and going back and being a mere mortal. I tell you what, listen, we all love our kids, but I love my kids like I love my wine, in moderation. And it's something different. <laughs> <laughs> by pulling up to that, that 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 pickup line in school, it's like, oh man, this is this what Tuesday is like in my life? You know, my life has been you know programmed to be able to have some excitement. Like it's like being a rock star. You can't get that dopamine from going to pick your kids up in a, in a, in a pickup line. You know, you went home and you realized, listen, I love my kids, but not that much. Well, the, 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 the Tuesday pickup, right? You got like the cone here and the cone here. You got to make sure your car is between it's, these two. It's cones. dangerous too because there's rules and you don't know what the rules are. You never picked them up. And they'll, those people with those little lights. And those little safety belts, they be yelling at you, man. You're like, I'm Tom Pam Brady. You don't yell at me. There's a lot of satisfaction in getting that right. Like, you feel like you did something, but it's not the Super Bowl. Yeah, I, I can see your point. I get it. Yeah. Tell what do you think? I, I think that uh, those 40 days were like, Giselle's like, it's time for you to get back to work. You, you know, like, Tom, what's wrong? Nothing. But just go play your stupid football. Just get the hell out of here, then. You're going to be moving around like that. Nothing's wrong. So, you know, what is that matter? Magazine stars, they're just like us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Teddy, let me get one serious question in here. He's back. They've lost some pieces. Are the Buccaneers right now, with Tom Brady, in your opinion, are they the, the favorite in the NFC? They aren't. Um, I, I'd, I'd go with the Green Bay Packers. Uh, I love Devondre Campbell, the linebacker coming back there. He just sort of put everything together for that defense. Of course, Aaron Rodgers coming back. Um, I just think they're a little – what I had concerns about with Tom going there to, to Tampa Bay was how they would gel with – how he would gel with the culture. And I think the last play was indicative of Tampa Bay to me. I mean, there's Ndamukong Sue coming right down the pipe to hit Matthew Stafford, but there's a defensive bust in the back end. So – I don't know. I mean, what, what's the culture like there to have that type of communication bust when your season's on the line? Those type of mistakes that I recognize over the, the course of two years with that team is just something that I just know that there's a, something going on there to where I don't know if it's discipline or focus, those type of things where they just let it go last year and they need to recapture a little bit of that. That's really interesting. That's the play that we were just showing you there that Teddy is talking about, and you all know what we're talking about. The Buccaneers coming from way behind. Brady ties up the game against the Rams, and then they give up inexcusably. They get they let uh, the Cooper Cup get behind the defense, and that that is attention to detail, right, from yeah. the defense. That's what Teddy is talking about. And, and I'm sure, you know, coming from the Patriot culture where, you know, they never beat themselves, so everybody was doing their job, just do your job, humble pie and all that stuff. It can be frustrating, but, you know, you I, I would still put – you know, Tampa over Green Bay just because simply you have a you know, unsatisfied Devontae Adams who turned down reportedly $23 million. Like, you still have to fill the rest of that team, and that team is built like the Nets. They're, they're, they're really not deep at all. And I like the addition of Shaq Mason yesterday because that brings some nastiness and some, mm -hmm. some familiarity with Tom Brady who's going to bring a, a semblance of that Patriot way down there and that discipline and attention to detail. Real quick, Teddy, go ahead. Yeah, there always, there always has to be an edge, though, Bart. You know that. A player's got to – somebody's got to be pissed off, I think. Yeah. I mean, last year it was Aaron Rodgers with everything before. that was hmm. going on. Yeah, yeah. And then also, I mean, now Tay, he sa he's saying he's not going to play on the tag, but believe me, you're going to come and get that check, that weekly check that's a lot of money. So he's going to come back and he's going to be a little upset, and that's what they need. They need that edge.
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.